Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another full day of eating. Today, I wanna to do something slightly different, and I'm gonna show you what a low protein full day of eating goes for a vegan bodybuilder who's bulking. I just wanna show you guys that you can still put on muscle while having low protein intake days. I usually try to average 120 grams of protein per day, but sometimes I get as low as 60, and that's totally fine. It's okay to have high protein, low protein days, and average protein days. So today I wanna show you something a little different for breakfast. First things first for this recipe, let's all mire my grandma dish. Very beautiful, right? And we're gonna be making my version of banana and ice cream and I always like to add some vegetables of some sort. So this is a little bit of spinach in here. And then it's really up to you how much bananas you wanna use, but I'm gonna use about half of this bag. I cut them into small little pieces and then they freeze. This is the easiest way for them to blend up in the processor. Gonna rock a little bit of my protein. I'm gonna have a little half scoop of brown rice protein just to get a little bit in for breakfast. I personally find that the consistency of this is a lot better when you add just a tiny bit of milk, like maybe a tablespoon or less. Now, not everybody's gonna like this one, but these are cacao nibs. They're very bitter, they're very raw and delicious, but they are very bitter. And when you mix them with a smoothie or a banana and ice cream, something sweet, it kind of like offsets the bitterness and it's really good, like chocolate chips. The final thing with an ice cream is you gotta decide what flavor you wanna do. Sometimes, actually most times, I do cocoa powder, but this time I wanna try cinnamon on it, so I'm just gonna add a lot of cinnamon. But you can do whatever you want. You can add maple, you can add like agave, or I mean, any kind of flavor that you like at all, add berries to it, whatever. Finally, I just put this here to symbolize that you can sweeten it however you want, whether you wanna do Stevia or if you wanna do Splenda or any other sort of sweetener. It's totally up to you. Sometimes people think this is sweet enough by itself. Sometimes people wanna put sweetener in it. Now we throw all of this into a processor. And then you blend. And there it is, my friends, a big bowl of delicious ice cream. I already tasted it and it tastes amazing. I tried to be fancy AF because I've seen the girls on Instagram do it. And um, yeah, I kind of failed. <laughs> I was trying to do a little aesthetic over here, put a little hemp hearts over here, some blackberries in the middle. Uh, and it just looks super desaturated and bad, but it's gonna be delicious, I assure you that. Oh, I gotta hurry because it's raining and it just stopped for a minute. This is one of the best parts of every morning <laughs> is letting these little ladies out, watch this. Hey ladies, good morning. How you guys doing, you ready to come out? You ready to adventure? All right, you guys ready to watch them parade out? Come on out ladies, morning. <laughs> Get it, run. They're like little prehistoric dinosaurs. All right, I love you guys. Gotta go back in, it's raining. Bye! I waited for like 30 minutes for that shot. So I also have my half gallon of water because I like to hydrate before we get to the gym. And it is 8.30 in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is cycle from the water to the coffee to the banana and ice cream, back and forth, back and forth until it's all done. And then I'm gonna do a podcast, which is gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes. Perfect amount of time for me to digest and then straight to the gym. But a side question I wanna ask you guys right now while I have your attention is what do you think about my hair and my beard? I'm letting it get real long. And I don't think a lot of you guys know the purpose of this. What I'm trying to go for is a full Tarzan look. Cue Tarzan right now. I'm trying to have my hair be like shoulder length and grow out a big scruffy beard. I just like it, I think it's fun. I, I enjoy phases in my life, I like to change things up so. What do you guys think about it? Hello, 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 and welcome everybody to another episode of Beyond the Podcast, the podcast where we show up and crash your wedding party and then stand in the corner really awkwardly. Still working on that catchphrase, always take the suggestions. But today I wanna to talk to you guys about quite a few different things with business. And one of the quotes that popped into my head last night while I was thinking about this topic is, a business relationship is the same as a really good friendship, but in this relationship, you focus on what's best for you versus in a friendship where you selflessly do what's best for your friend. Podcast all complete, drink all my water and stuff. I'm about to eat this and then I'm on the way to the gym. This is just a little bit extra carb so I can get the pump. How completely and entirely excessive was that shot? But how freaking cool was it? Oh man, I'm learning to use the different modes and stuff on the drone and it is so sick. Disclaimer, 
I don't think that that actually makes me cool. I just think it's really fun to shoot. Now we're getting our workout in though, and I am so amped for this. Work. I'm putting in work. All you do is play and all I do is work. Fingers bleeding from the bricks. What's going on guys? So I tried to film as much as possible today. It was a very busy day in the gym. Uh, so I only got, I think like two exercises recorded, but the last thing I ended with is these abs. And I know they look super simple, but if you just put the medicine ball right in the middle upper back area, the thoracic area of your back, and allow yourself to get full spinal flexion. Oh, it seems like it's gonna be really easy, but it's a really hard ab exercise. Now let's see what's for lunch. Okay, to be honest with you guys, I thought I was gonna teleport us over to cooking the food, but I don't think I'm gonna make it, so I stopped by Sprouts to get some groceries so that I can make the food that I'm about to show you, which will be pretty awesome. But in the meantime, I got some cold salad, so I got one lonely cold piece of tofu. I got some raw bell peppers in here. I have some corn and black black beans up in here. Over here I have like a bunch of greens. It's like a quinoa, kale, spinach type of thing. And then up here is more like cranberry salad type of thing with brown rice, couscous, chickpeas, cranberries, etc., etc. Everything here is vegan and I'm stoked that they offer this stuff. Now let's jump to cooking lunch. I was just about to put away my groceries, but I figured I should probably show you guys what I got just so you can just kind of see some of the other things I got as well as the actual recipe ingredients. But one of the things I like a lot is this sweet earth seitan stuff. This stuff is an awesome source of protein as well as a diversified type of protein because this is made out of wheat gluten, whereas a lot of my protein that I get is often from like uh, soy or beans. So this is a good way to change it up a little bit. Also, I got the chives and onion daya just because I friggin' love this cream cheese. I put it on my bagels. Up here, this is ripple milk. So this is pea protein milk, so it's just made out of uh, like pea milk, the, the plant pea, not urine. Come on, boys and girls. And then the last thing that I got that isn't part of this recipe is a little bit of some kombucha, this GTS Synergy stuff. This is literally the best flavor ever, Mystic Mango. If you guys haven't tried this, this is the one to go for. But then the rest of it is all ingredients for this little lentil soup that I'm gonna be making. So I got vegetable broth, low sodium, I have some smoked paprika, I got a little bit of cumin right there. I have some pre-cooked, I know, pre-cooked organic lentils, just simply for the sake of time because I am also doing a ton of work today. I got myself an onion, some diced up garlic, say big ass tomato, and then some spinach. And all of this is gonna make a delicious soup. All right, step one to making this recipe, uh, you're gonna need to oil your pan. And there's a lot of controversy about this lately. A lot of people have been calling me out for using oil in my food. Uh, just wanna let you guys know that Fats actually regulate your endocrine system. So if you don't have fats, you literally will have low testosterone. Just saying. Okay, so once you've oiled your pan and you got the oil kind of heated up, now we're gonna throw in some diced carrots and onions. And yes, my bad, I forgot to put the carrots in the ingredient list earlier, but yeah. This is step one. We're just gonna cook these because these are the hardest vegetables. So we're gonna let them kind of like break down a little bit. Look, I even broke out the nice pan for you guys. After this stuff has been cooking for about five, six minutes, you're gonna throw in your paprika, cumin, and garlic. So the recipe is calling for about four or five cloves of garlic, and I really like garlic, so I don't really care if I overdo it. So there we go. The recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of cumin. So I got a half tablespoon here, and I'm just gonna do three of these. Boom, one and a half tablespoons of cumin. And then it calls for one teaspoon of this smoked paprika, which is an herb that I've actually been, or spice, that I've been really trying to learn because I know that it's so good in recipes. So it's good to kind of expand our horizons here and try some new stuff. Okay, so next up, the, the recipe is calling for one large tomato cubed. So that's what we got right here, and then we're gonna add broth and water. So the recipe is calling for four cups of broth, which I'm realizing is this entire box. So I'm just gonna pour it all in at once right now. And maybe not all the way in. That seems like a lot. Jeez. So this is the point when I'm doing recipes that other people make that I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I still have another like, maybe a third of this box left. It says for three cups of water as well. So instead of that, I'm just gonna stop right now and then I'm gonna add lentils in there and not add any more liquid. I'm gonna bring this to a boil so that it kind of steams out a little bit and then that's the whole thing. I think it's gonna be pretty good, just modifying the recipe a little bit. All right, so while I let this simmer down for the next 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna clean and then I'll catch back up with you guys. All right, so now that this is boiled down a little bit, it actually is looking pretty friggin' good. It smells really nice. I just took a taste of it and it was a little bit, uh, it needed a little bit of salt, so I added a little bit of Himalayan pink salt in there because the broth was low sodium in the first place. This has probably been boiling out for about, I would say, 10 minutes, maybe a little tiny bit less, and I'm gonna lower the heat now and I'm just gonna toss all this into a bowl so I can eat and probably save a good amount of this too because there's a lot for sand. Me later. 
And I totally forgot, also, I'm adding spinach to the end of it. Just wanted to wait until like the last minute because it obviously cooks very fast. Now it's done. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking hot. I need to take the shirt off. But before I take this shirt off, I wanna give you guys an honest review of this. I haven't tried it yet. And I try to be as genuine and transparent about the things that I try. I like to pretend that I'm a perfect chef and that everything I make on these full day eatings is great, but there's quite a few mess ups because I like to experiment. So I'm gonna tell you guys whether this is worth your time or not worth your time, but it smells really, really good. All right, so here's the bite. You got a little bit of carrot, got a little bit of spinach, got a little bit of tomato, garlic, and lentils. Got everything in there, so we're about to see if this is real good or not. Bon appetit. Ooh, I think we nailed it, man. Yes, I am so pleased with myself. Yes, I am a super chef. What do you think, Kobe? Am I a super chef? Oh, I think she agrees. Am I a super chef? You're the best. Oh, you're the best hype man ever. Oh, I love you. Oh, right, right. No, I know. Okay. All time. The verdict is in. Kobe thinks it's awesome. I think it's awesome. No, legit, it really actually is really good. I expected this not to be quite as good because of the simplicity of it, uh, but really quick 15 minute meal. This is amazing. Try it out. What's up guys, so we're in Balboa Park right now and we just got to this new vegan upscale restaurant called Donna Jeans and we're gonna do a little bit of a menu testing, but I wanted to tell you guys what just happened. As we were pulling in, we saw this guy running by us sprinting with a big glass jar that said tips on it and it took a second and then Sammy's like, did that guy just steal the tips? And then you see three waitresses come out of Donna Jeans and they're like pointing and screaming and then a bunch of uh, cops alarms just went off. So that guy just, he either made a bunch of money or he's gonna spend the night in jail. I don't know, one of the two. Check it out, we got baby girl, but look who's over here. So guys gets fit. We just got our appetizers, I'll show you guys what they are. But we're kind of gonna go by dish by dish and show you what we think about them and the tastes and all that good stuff. Donna Jean's down in San Diego. All right, which one should we try first, B? Raviolis. Raviolio. It smells nice. They got marinara for us. This is what the inside is looking like. I'll get more detailed on the entrees. There's so much to cover. Bon appetit. Nailed it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. Here. Wow, good. That I mean, is so good. Isn't it good? If I die, this is why. <laughs> the spice got to me. This is gonna be a massive bite, but whenever I do taste test with you. Every time. <laughs> Every All time. right, cheers. cheers. Boom. Damn. The batter stuff is so bomb. Are we eating chicken right now? For real. Because I tastes, can't tell. <laughs> right? Dude, that tastes like. It's not too spicy. It's, it gets spicier a little bit as it goes along. Yeah. Like right now, it's yeah, in the, the middle of my tongue. Right. That legitimately Ooh. tastes like Vaughn's, specifically Vaughn's deep fried chicken. They nailed that. They really did. That is so good. Bomb. So far, my favorite appetizer. Probably gonna stick to this one being the favorite appetizer. This is the next thing. This is something with potatoes, man, and a lot of aioli and deliciousness. It's gonna be good. This time, we're all taste testing it at the same time. Cheers. Are you ready? Right, cheers. cheers. Here we go. Whatever's on the outside of this is really good, man. Wow. I like a barbecue almost. I like it a lot, but I like my potatoes with ketchup, so this one not for me. I like it. Mm. It's really good. Super traditional breakfast potatoes, a little side of ketchup. Jules ordered this for me. She knows I'm team ketchup about it. There you go. That's like a, okay. like a seven out of 10. That's like Denny's okay. right there. It's hard because the chicken stuff that we just had is freaking so good. So that was really cool. The owner and the main chef just came out and pretty much just, well, he introduced himself to us, but then also explained all the dishes and stuff. I was asking him how he made this dish because this is by far the best thing I've had so far. We've only had our appetizers, but it's really good. It was cool. I asked him how long he's been a chef. He said he's been a chef for two decades, 20 years. And I was like, when did you go vegan? I think he said 15 years ago, or maybe 12 years ago, something like that. But I thought that was a really interesting thing to talk about. And he explained to us how this all came to be. And this is the first time owning a restaurant and stuff like that, but he's, he's cooked forever. Interesting stuff. I don't know. It was really cool. We're about to get our entrees though, and this is where the money is. All right, so first entree that I'm going to try is the Salisbury tempeh, and this is what it's looking like. It looks super appetizing. Like, they murdered the gourmetness of this restaurant. It smells amazing. So here, we're about to try this out. I don't even have to act eccentric. That's so good. Really? I'm that is. Try it. Everything just tastes like really fine dining stuff you had in the past. This is really good. Nine out of ten on this. That's insane. All right, so now we're gonna try out the slow roasted, beer battered, badass mushrooms and potatoes and stuff. <laughs> Sammy's gonna try it out for us. Mm. Is it bomb? 
That mushroom though. That mushroom though, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. I'm not a huge fan of beer in my food, so this one gets an A. You know what, let me be honest with you. Me personally, I give this a seven. All right guys, so we are about to try the mac and cheese and my battery is flashing red, so I really hope we get the shot. I'm really excited. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Salute. Cheers. Here we go. Salute. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> oh, all three cameras. 10 out of 10, easily. 10 out of 10. Really? We're getting this to go. No I'm way. getting this to go. Yeah, it has a nice caramelized onion flavor to that. Did you taste that? That's yes. what that was. Is that bacon in there too? Like bacon that's, flavor? I, yeah, that's what that was. So, <gasps> you guys, nice. on point. Mm -hmm. It delivered, it's 10 out of 10 for out sure. Out of all the mac and cheeses you had at a vegan? Yes, I will say that this is the best. I'm going to be craving this and we're gonna have to drive down here quite frequently. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they've been screaming and raving about how good it is. We're about to find out if it really is. I can already taste that it. it's amazing. By far though, I, it doesn't look like it's gonna be as cheesy as it is, but that is really good mac and cheese. And I've had a lot of different mac, vegan mac and cheeses at this point. That's like 10 out of 10. <laughs> By far the best vegan mac and cheese I've ever had. Banana champagne. the buttermilk sugar pie. This is okay. the buttermilk sugar pie. I don't know what that is. Those are strawberry empanadas. Uh, strawberry rhubarb ham pie. Strawberry rhubarb empanada pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to try this out. This is the butterscotch super duper pie, and it's gonna be amazing. Oh. I can already tell. He put so much love into this after he talked to us. <laughs> it's really good. Is it, is it just like a bunch of fruit? It's hard to, I can't really put a thing on it. It's like strawberry shortcake, but in like a- the, what? You never had strawberry shortcake? My whole shortcake? life has been repeats and habits, bro. My sisters and I used to eat strawberry shortcake for breakfast all the time. That's terrible. I know. <laughs> that's not Typical. Good. Gosh. Not pretty good. Does that's kind of like, like a, a, I was about to say, that's like a, a high quality gourmet pop tart right there. I imagined it to taste like a pop tart. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yes. This is how you do <laughs> cookies and milk. Okay, wow. yes. The whole thing is crushed, bro. It's so good. That's, that's bomb. That's like mama's cookies. What kind of bite is that? <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, those are bomb. Wow, the chocolate chips are bomb. Yeah, and you murdered it. And then the idea is just, we just wanted a place that starts a conversation about what vegetables can eat. So we just finished up here at Donut Jeans. Seriously, really good. I'm so used to getting vegan food that's like buffalo wings and french fries and jalapeno poppers and like the junk food. And that's kind of like my favorite stuff to get for vegan restaurants. But I've never had like kind of an upscale, like really nice vegetables, really good sauces, rendering things, all sorts of stuff like that. This was seriously good. So if you're ever visiting San Diego, because I know a lot of people go to Plant Power when they're visiting San Diego, if you want to try something that you kind of dress up for and stuff, you should come to Don Sheen's. Speaking of which, check out the outfit. I actually wore people clothes for once. Hey, I got pants on. Feels good. Got these Anis on. Check it out. This is uh, pretty much the shoe of choice for me. I wear this everywhere, but it's cool because these shoes definitely match up with nice outfits like this. Also, this company is completely vegan and they donate a pair every time you buy a pair to those who are in need. So I think that's kind of a cool little, like, little extra little thing that they do. So we're back at Jules' hotel. What are we recording, Jules? So we just recorded a video of why both myself and Brian are vegan and not vegetarian. Yeah, so someone on my channel suggested that video. So I was like, hey, Brian, you wanna record it with me? Because I thought that he would add a very interesting perspective. So we recorded all that. It was super good. Uh, I'm not really sure. When are you gonna put that up? Like a week or so? So she's gonna have this up on her channel next week. I'm gonna link her channel right now so you guys can go check her out, subscribe to her and stuff, and then that video will be up in a week or so. You guys will see that. But now we're headed home because it is time for some well-deserved rest. So that's the end of the full day eating. I wanna keep this short and concise. Thank you guys so much for watching this full day eating, seeing what I ate, checking out everything that we did yesterday. If you guys wanna show support, which you already have done for seven years, which is awesome, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Team Beyond the Week. CT lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker. Team me out week. CT lift heavy or die Myron.